Hi, okay, so this is just a quick video to um, work on building a little bit of strength around the neck and helping to support your body um, and your posture when you're perhaps working at a desk quite a lot. So it's to build the, stre the strength of the sort of deeper neck uh, flexors and extensors um, rather than perhaps using the more sort of dominant the uh, more sort of bigger superficial muscles. So sometimes if we're sitting and it could be um, at the desk, when we're driving, um, just when we're perhaps relaxing in the evening, there might be a tendency for the body to collapse a little bit through the front line and that's sometimes when the head ends up shifting forward. So obviously one way of thinking about that is to really sort of feel that we're planting down through the feet and that we're kind of sitting up on the sit bones. So we're trying to keep that sense of length, which will help the head stay on top of the spine. But obviously, if we are working at a computer, the tendency then is to sort of shift the head forward. So we want to sort of perhaps address getting a little bit of release of that area. Um, and like I say, strengthening it as well. One way of just sort of easily massaging around the neck is just by bringing the sort of the base of the thumb to the collarbone and just trying to get a little bit of release around the platysma. That's our sort of big muscle that connects from the underside of the jaw towards the collarbones. And you can just bring the edge of the thumb, base of the thumb towards the top of the collarbone and just gently sort of move the head as you create a little bit of opposition with the thumb. So that can help get a little bit of sort of release around that area. And we've got our sternocloid and mastoid that comes from the mastoid process and connects towards the front of the collarbone. So it might just help create a little bit of release there as well. So you just bring the base of the thumb to the top of the collarbone. You can move the thumb along and just gently move the head. And you're not really pulling it taut, you're just trying to get a little bit of mobility there. So that's our first part where we can get perhaps a little bit of release of that, uh, that area to start off with. Then we're going to look at really building a little bit of um, strength around the front and the back of the neck. So if we start in a prone position, we're going to come down onto the tummy. And you can have the hands in line with the head or you can bring the hands to rest underneath the fold, depending on what feels comfortable for you. The hip bones, the pubic bone, the legs all nice and heavy, and the tip of the nose can be down on the mat. If you prefer, you can work with a spiky ball or soft ball underneath the breastbone just to lift the body very slightly. But if we are here, the hands are in line with the head, make sure the shoulders feel nice and settled. And like I say, the tip of the nose is just going to be on the mat. We take it into little micro movements. We start just by lifting the nose just away from the floor as if I was going to slide a piece of paper underneath the nose and then you release coming back down so it's a small lift and you can hopefully then feel a little bit of work around the back of the neck it's not tension you should feel you should feel that sense of elongation so really lengthening out through the crown of the head and again you just start to lift and then you release down so that's the first of our micro movements it's a small lift and then we take it into a little small nod forward as if we had a marble in front of our nose that we're just going to nudge forward. We return the nod, we return the lift. So it's a small lift, a small nod forward, return the nod, return the lift. So we're not tipping the head back. We want to keep any creases out of the neck. Return and back down. Our next part, it's a small lift, a small nod forward. Then it's the breastbone that lifts. So imagine if you've got a light on your sternum, you're just shining that light along the mat and very slightly up the wall in front of you. You return the lift of the sternum, the nod and the tip of the nose. So it's a small lift, a small nod forward. The hands press down, they pull slightly towards you in opposition and then you release coming back down. So we're just really looking to build this strength through the upper back a little bit as well there. And then you release. But like I say, it's that micro lift, the micro nod forward. That's what's really important to build strength around the back of the neck. Then you can lift further and then you release coming back down. So one last time, small lift, small nod forward. And then you lift through the breastbone, release the breastbone, the nod and the tip of the nose comes back down. We can do that same movement or similar movement, but working to strengthen through the front of the neck from a curl up position. 
again, micro movements. If you need a little bit of support behind the back of the head, pop the folded towel or head cushion in. The pelvis is heavy, the knees are bent, the feet are flat, the rib cage, the head nice and heavy as well. The fingers are going to interlock, we're going to bring the hands in behind the back of the head and the thumbs can just lengthen down the back of the neck. The elbows aren't directly out to the side, they're not squeezed in, they're just in the peripheral vision. So we're really creating a sling for the head to rest in. So we take it again into these micro movements. It's a tiny little lift of the head and the hands just away from the floor again, just enough to slide a piece of paper in and then you release coming back down. So we get a small lift, makes you realize how heavy the head is and then you release back down. So there shouldn't be any tensioning in the neck. Small lift. The tummy should kick in as well and then you release. We add that little nod, so it's a small lift, a little nod of the chin towards the chest. We're just opening up around the base of the skull to the top of the shoulders, return the nod, return the lift down. So again, small lift, small nod, return the nod, return the lift. Again, keep it micro, return and back down. We can then take it further. The next part would come from the rib cage. So small lift, small nod of the chin towards the chest, then the rib cage curls down towards the pelvis as we come further up. We don't change the alignment of the head and the neck. We release the rib cage, the nod and the head. So again, micro lift, micro nod, rib cage moves down towards the pelvis, release the rib cage, the nod and the head comes down. Again, small lift, small nod, think of finding space, lengthening around the base of the skull to the top of the shoulders, the rib cage moves down, like I say, the tummy should be engaging without you even really having to think about it. One more here, small lift, small nod, rib cage moves down towards the pelvis, release the rib cage, the nod, and the head comes back down, and then just take the hands away when you're ready to and do a little roll of the head from side to side. So that should give you a couple of exercises just to work, like I say, on building the strength around the neck. It will also help to support the tummy, which will help support you when you are sitting um, upright. So I hope those have been useful or will be useful to you, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.